After years of asking for park upgrades, some Fayetteville residents say it took children getting hurt for the city to close the park. Parents say they've had safety concerns at Kids Park for a long time, but it was only closed this past Saturday. News 19's Daryl Burke joins us live in the studio with what residents are saying about the park's closure and what city leaders are going to do to address the safety problems. That's right, Greg, Emily. Uh, Kids Park was established over 20 years ago. However, residents say it took far too long for the park's condition to be addressed and some believe it's part of a larger issue they're dealing with. For this park to be closed at this time of year, um, again, failure of the city management team. Kids Park is one of the only places in Fayetteville for children to enjoy themselves. From broken equipment to holes in the park slides that are covered in mold, residents say conditions had gotten out of hand prior to the park's closing. Kay Williamson tells me her granddaughter was hurt on a slide after getting her foot stuck. She says, City leaders knew about safety concerns well before the incident happened. The city already knew that this park was in disarray when my granddaughter got injured. They had neglected this park for years and years and years. Williamson says everyone in Fayetteville pays their city taxes, but she didn't understand why tax dollars hadn't been used to address the park's condition years ago. They're wanting to raise our property taxes 52 percent and we've got nothing to show for it. Now our kids park is closed. Where's our money going? Parks and Recreation Director Brian Carter says brand new equipment is in the process of being bought and once the park reopens, the city is looking to avoid future closures. And one of the things that we want to make sure, and that was in our plans also, was to update it and hopefully as, we, as time goes on, we can make those updates and keep everything safe for the public. Carter says the park is undergoing a full evaluation to address its needs. With repair efforts in its early stages, he says safety is a top priority and the park will remain closed until the repair process is fully completed. As a grandmother who took her grandchildren to the park frequently, Williamson says there's no reason for a child to be injured playing at a park. No child should ever be hurt in a, in a kid's park. Now, Fayetteville's Parks and Recreation says once repairs are made and new equipment arrives, they will then carry out an inspection to ensure the park is safe to play in. However, there is no definite timeline as of now as to when the park will reopen.